is Anthony the worst Man United signing in history? Oh, my days. He has to be up there. You know what people will say? People will make a list and put players like Pogba, players like um, Di Maria, players like Memphis Depay, who have all done something for Man United above Anthony. They don't even put Anthony Martial above Anthony as the worst signing of Manchester United history. This guy... Oh, what is he? Terry, we spent 90, min, uh, 90 million on air, on, on, a, on, a tra- on a training cone. That is because that is what he's there for. He doesn't do anything. And it frustrates me because I want him to do something because he's got talent. You can tell that he's got talent. Otherwise, he wouldn't be here in the first place. But he doesn't do anything. He's not quick. He hasn't literally, for all the dribbling that he's supposed to have, he can't get past a man. He can't score goals. And he can't get an assist either. So why are you here? You do more running up and down the wing, doing defensive hard work, than actually being an attacker. So might as well be a flipping left back at this rate. Left <laughs> wing back. That's where he should be. This guy, literally, he, this guy, like old man William. He, the guy's like 35. Show him how to be a winger today. Running at his man, beating his man, going inside, outside, putting in crosses, taking shots, being dangerous. When Anthony's on the ball, what do, I don't, I don't fear anything. I don't fear anything. No one fears him. And when he loses the ball, he just goes, "Ah, oh, I'm angry," and just goes, runs after a guy, tries to slide tackle them, and misses. Like, it, 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 it's, oh, you know, so you know, I, I want, I wanted to call, uh, I wanted to call him out on something as well today, Anthony. And it was because I had the same issue with Sancho last year when he did it. And I think it's horrendous. There was, it was at the edge of our own box and he just, I think I want to say it was William who wanted to cut inside and he just put out a flimsy little leg, bottled the challenge, no power behind it. Oh, don't want to get hurt. No energy and effort. I I was fuming. And because we won the game, your, your reaction is different. If we'd have lost that game, maybe I'd have been angry. And I wanted to have a conversation about this rather than put it in my opening speech. But I saw that and thought to myself, where I would have, where I defended Anthony in the past was, but he kept the shape and he worked hard and he got stuck in and he did that right. That's gone. So now it becomes a case of what are you? You don't create, you don't score, and you're now not keeping shape. You're pulling out of tackles. There's no element of your game that, me- that means anything. And you're right, listen, all the signings you've mentioned can be on the list for poor signings in terms of what we achieved. But to, to suggest for one second that Pogba was a worse signing than Anthony is an abomination to football because Pogba won us some trophies. Pogba had lots of good moments and, and, and lots of, he had a couple of good seasons with us as well. In no any of the worst players. Anthony has had a good, a good moment against Arsenal and a, good, and a good moment against uh, awesome. Barcelona. He's had two good moments. I wouldn't even say he's had two good games. He's had two good moments. He was pretty good last year away from home against Nottingham Forest as well, if I remember that game correctly. He was oh, good in that yeah. game. Outside of that, he's had one good game and two good moments. He cost 90 million. He is by far... Listen, Maguire, p- p- people talk about him. I think he should go now. But the first 18 months, I thought he was very good. Like, we've had nothing from this guy. And you know what makes it worse as well? It's the circumstances of how we got him as well, which, again, is not his fault. It's not necessarily his fault that Man United took so long to get him, we panicked and paid 90 million. But even that just feeds into the whole situation is the manager wanted you. We got you last minute for 90 million. As much as I, I feel for my uh, for footballers because they don't set the price tags that they are given, but you have to see some kind of return on it. I'm not asking him to be the best player in the world for 90 million because I know that's not that's not fair. But give me something. Be worth yeah. one million pounds at least. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. You're not worth nothing with that right now, and it's frustrating. It's so frustrating. Me, bro, um... Pelestri, I don't even know if he's good enough, Pelestri. Give him the game time, because at least he's getting stuck in. At least he's actually making things happen. He's made, he's made more things happen in the last year. Okay, that's me being flippant, but in the last year, than Anthony. And the guy has been on loan for half of it. So... Yeah, he's 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 a limited he's a limited player and always has been and I think that's where he came over with his flaws and I think when you look at a player you hope that you see some level of progression at least within their game. The first thing most fans picked out was he's just so one footed and there were some fans who were saying 
that won't be an issue. It'll be like Iron Robin. And I said, you can't do that comparison. I understand where it comes from, but when you actually break it down, Iron Robin actually used his right foot a lot more than often. When he was going for the kill, he would cut in onto his left and do it very well, but his touch was on his right foot. He would pass with his right foot. He would cross with his right foot. He would dribble past the man with his right foot. Anthony very, very rarely, and I would say on the eye test, I'm going off my eye test here, a percentage of it when I watch him play, probably 10%, 15%, that's being fair, um, of, is, is him of using his right foot in some capacity, whether that's touching, dribbling, or knocking it back to, to turn back to his... He very rarely does it, unless he's doing that flipping touch where it looks like a Rabona touch, like a bit of flair, like... It, it's it's limited. He's a limited player on the ball. Off the ball, absolutely incredible. But like you said, KJ, um, I think it was Terry, sorry, when you're not doing that, what else are you offering? I had the same um, opinion of Lukaku. When you're not putting the ball in the back of the net, what else are you offering? It's not good enough. So, look, I'm I'm not a big... Um, I, I'm just, I've am just i said it many times. I'm not someone who looks at price tags and go, you said that you were this much. Same with Pogba, same with Maguire. If you said, and I don't rate Maguire, by the way, but if you said... If a player comes out and says, I'm worth 90 million, I'm saying, okay, come show me. Then I can come on to you for the price tag. But I, I can't do that pause, actually. I can't, yeah, I can't say that. Re rewind a little bit, a little bit. Um, <laughs> yeah, then I can't get on to you um, for, for that price tag. But when you are spending so much money, there is a natural expectation on these players. Now, whether that's right or wrong is a different discussion for me. I would say it's wrong to expect certain things just because a player's been bought for so much. However, you do expect a level of quality at Manchester United. Yeah, There's two yeah, things yeah. with that. You've got the standards of Manchester United, what we're used to, and we're allowed to have those standards. But you've got the reality of the situation where we don't have an identity where we can just go and rip out player for player. So there's less chance and there's less, how can I put it? There's less, pri there's less privilege for a manager to be able to get things wrong. Mm. Every manager at every club should be able to get one or two, three signings wrong in their, in their lifetime, in the first season, two seasons, especially when you're rebuilding. Especially when you're rebuilding where there's actually no structure. So, Terry, look for me personally, I've got to look at Anthony and go, it's not good enough. He ain't great. Um, someone dropped a comment. <laughs> no, no, no. It's, it's somebody. <laughs> back, it's safe backstage. He's got the camera the wrong way around. He's got his bare feet out. It's just. And oh, what? No, 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 no. Yeah, yeah, right, yeah. I know. Right. You're not bringing you on with the camera facing that way, my bro. Like, turn it around, safe. I don't know which one's better to look at anyway, but still. I mean, in fairness, in fairness, yeah, his feet are better looking than he is, but like, it's, it's wow. one of them. That's what we're laughing at, mate. Yeah, yeah. And that can be off putting when people start giggling, don't know what it is, but yeah. Right. But yeah, that's no, just I, to land up. Yeah, no, I hear not, you, mate. Point overall. It's, not good. it's not good enough overall. And he's, he's, he's a signing that's not looking to be of, of much use. And for me personally, Terry, I want Ahmad Diallo back because although he's got the work rate in him as well and the high IQ, for me personally, and I've always said it, even with under Oli, he's, he's, again, he hasn't got this, the strength, we know that, but the intelligence of the man for the age that he is in that position, yeah, well, he will yeah. offer so much more oh, yeah. as a left foot yeah, and a right foot. And, 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 yeah, no, I, I, I agree with that. Uh, comment here says, Terry, you call Pogba shit numerous times. I call Pogba, so I call, to call Pogba rubbish when he play badly. But again, this is, I want to be honest with you here, Armin. I don't know how old you are, but get out of polarized thinking. Me, sa me saying at times, sorry, sitting here scored. Me saying at times that Pogba was crap. Me at the end saying Pogba should leave, and that was more to do with his injury problems than it was his ability, is not the same as me saying he's the worst signing in history. So the converse, look at what we've said. I think Anthony's our worst signing we've ever made. And I just said, if you put Pogba above him, you're mad. That doesn't mean you, you, you had to have thought Pogba was brilliant in every game. Pogba had some brilliant moments, helped us win trophies. He did stuff. Did he deliver to, to the fullest extent of his ability for us? No, he didn't. He wasn't a resounding success. But, but that isn't the question. The question wasn't, was Pogba a success or not? It is, who's the worst signing of all time? So again, this is what you do. It's hard. Listen, it's about critical thinking, layered thinking, and not being polarized uh, when you do that. Yeah, I think Harlan just hit the post. By the way, people, see if you've got, uh, you know, your, your VPN, you, I can't show it all, but you can just set it up, watch watch three o'clock games on Satan the Sport. Yeah, yeah. No streaming needed. Um, but let's get some super chats coming here. It says, uh, there is no bias against Man United. Stop the lies. <laughs> <Anthony> this, <Taylor. laughs> this is, yeah, this is the funny one. Uh, Sancho or Anthony? Dan James. <laughs> Dan, my, my, again, game, I'm not boy. I'm not in that fight. Look, we know that Sancho is more talented than Anthony is 100 percent But right now, I'd say I'd say sell both and, and buy somebody else. I, I genuinely yeah, it's true. not about either or either for me. I don't think either have been good enough for us. I'm not involved in that fight. All that fight is a weird one. 
it divides the fan base and makes everybody angry. But at the, at the end of it, we'll be left with a player that isn't good enough for us or isn't performing for us. So I'm not having that conversation. It is literally a micro penis competition in terms of what they've done for Man United. Do I think Sancho is going to turn it round? I don't. I think he will elsewhere. I just don't think he'll do it at Man United. So for me, it's it's just it's a it's a it's a nonsense debate, really. Yeah, bring me some new wingers, man. I need them. There we go. Um, wingers. 